Happy Tiny Tuesday, folks. Today I'm having a very simple kind of a tiny Tuesday cardstock artwork piece here and I'm starting off with tracing this wooden heart here. Um, this is actually one of the components from a board game and uh, I wanted to work with that one here. So I'm taking an exact, I'm unable to talk as well, great. I'm taking an exacto knife and I am cutting uh, lines into that cardboard uh, or cardstock piece here um, to get into the heart with uh, my scissors so that I can cut it out and have a heart shaped hole in the cardstock. Um, I wouldn't, I would not have been able to do that without the cutter knife there. Also, um, just uh, as well, kind of a information thing dropping here. Um, I will, for one, uh, retire this series by end of 2016. So uh, next year I will very likely have another show on this um, time on Tuesday here. But I haven't find, uh, like decided on what I want to do yet, but um, stay tuned, I will tell you. Uh, also, I added a second camera. Uh, for recording these art videos and I would very much appreciate if you'd let me know in the comment section if you prefer this or don't like it at all just for me to know what your preferences are. Now coming back to the Tiny Tuesday here I took a second piece of the Tiny Tuesday cardstock and um, I did put a lot of 3D squares on them because I couldn't uh, balance the Tiny Tuesday with a wooden piece and I didn't want it to lie flat uh, to the point like all of the heart piece um, looking uh, in one direction. I wanted um, it pretty much be 50-50, like the heart stuck in the middle and uh, thus I needed a second cardstock to then have the whole piece lie flat. Um, I'm not doing a very good job explaining, but you will see in a minute what I mean there. So I'm peeling all of the paper from those foam squares and that's a tedious job. I don't like it at all, but uh, well, it has to be done. I want those 3D um, effects going on or uh, I, want, I want to have a bit of space between the cardstock. So I gotta peel it. And uh, once I'm done, I can put down the heart uh, piece on top of the other there. And now you can see I can fit in the heart, but it's not going like all the way through there. Uh, I did uh, choose a bit of um, a red washi tape just to, uh, well, have the same color going on as with the heart. Uh, I knew that I just wanted to have the drawing be black incliner, so I wanted a bit more color, hence I did take the washi tape and also I needed to cover up the gap uh, between the front and the back cardstock and I thought, oh well, Washi tape works perfectly for that, why not, why not use it? I, I have a few different kinds of tapes, so, well, that's the perfect perfect time to use it. Um, I'm sorry I'm having my head over the camera there, but I needed to look straight down to have the washi tape be straight on the cardstock there. Um, I'm not very good with lining things up if I don't look straight down, so I'm sorry that you have my big old fat hat <laughs> in the camera shot. Alrighty, so here I am done and I'm just cutting the excess, make it pretty, well, to the point that I can at least. And uh, then I'm gonna take a uh, black permanent marker and uh, draw my tiny design there. So the thought was, um, the heart could be a balloon or something. And uh, well, I made it a balloon and somebody walking with that balloon uh, through either, I don't know, a meadow or maybe even just alongside a house and the lines that I'm going to add are maybe just shading or stuff. It's, that is what I like to do to, well, leave a bit of 
space for interpretation to the viewer so you can see what you want to see and not me drilling into your brain what I want you to see there. I always like to keep things open and only suggest instead of, well, forcing my opinion down on you. So uh, yeah, once I had my tiny design there, well, filled in and drawn and squiggled and all those lines and stuff, you know, once drawing was done, I just signed uh, my name and uh, called it a day. It's a very, very simple piece. There's not a lot to it, but sometimes I want to just have the not a hundred layer kind of art pieces done. And today was such a day. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you want to see the material list, the background story for this design, or close-up photos, hop on over to my webpage on Friday. The weekly art vlog with details for all the artwork that I put up this week will be up then. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along. Again, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And uh, I will see you tomorrow with a new board game that Tina and I will paint because Wednesday it's time for Draw for Initiative. Have fun, everybody. I will see you tomorrow on this channel. Bye-bye.